four little girls, you know, without their dad. It just pulls on every heartstring, I think, that anybody has. Day after day, they've arrived since October. This is her second one because the first one broke. Silver bands worn by strangers who long ago promised to keep Colonel Jay McGoldrick's memory alive. He said he got his bracelet at the Ohio State Fair in 1985. Each one returned, now a reminder to Mitch Guess and Mari Petrucci that their father is finally coming home. We've been on a roller coaster for 45 years. At last, the final moments are here. I'm so mixed with emotions over the grief and the fact that we've finally gotten to this point. And now has come the moment for Colonel McGoldrick's daughters to do their duty. I want to honor him in the best way that we know how. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this repatriation ceremony, this celebration of life in honor of Colonel Francis McGoldrick. When I think back on these times, Being a McGoldrick girl meant living a countdown with an unseen end. But, and it did, on Friday the 13th. Amen. With the Capitol below and the Air Force Memorial soaring above, the sisters have come to Washington to complete the arc of their father's life. The brief 40 years that he spent on this earth, which ended 45 years ago today. This is a ceremony that Mitch has poured her soul into organizing, and it's also the first ever celebration of life at the memorial. It is truly a day of celebration. Grandkids who'd only ever known their grandfather as a story, a legend, now bear his casket. One of my sons said to me, he's more alive now coming home in a casket than he was ever, ever in their whole life. Right. Because they've known the story and now they're gonna get to see what a hero's welcome is. Bring him home, bring him home, bring him home. Half a mile as the crow flies from the Air Force Memorial, is the final resting place at Arlington. Hey, hey, hey. Arlington holds about 10,000 funerals a year, roughly 30 a day. And yes, the McGoldrick sisters couldn't help but feel that fate had cheated their family out of the honor. It's a little bit of a jealousy. You know, you, mm -hmm. feel, you feel left out, and you feel like, why can't that be us? So many heroes are there, and our father finally will be there too. Hey. Hey. With a show of breathtaking precision and gravity, the Air Force has made sure the years spent waiting would end in the most reverent manner. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. McGoldrick will not be buried alone. Cancer claimed his wife Jackie at age 47. She's been here since 1980. To be able to put them together in the same grave, his casket will go on top of hers. That's just such a blessing to have them together again. And remember those bracelets. We're gonna collect all of these and we're going to put them inside the casket with our father's remains. Mm -hmm. They need to go in a special place with a special person. 45 years to the day after leaving them, Jay McGoldrick's daughters have only fading memories of their father. But here, in the nation's most hallowed corner, under the bluest of skies and the brightest sun, they have one final crystal clear moment with him. A gift as treasured as the ones on each of their laps. Absolutely. We have the end to our story. The gift of an answer at last. I would say we have absolutely gotten our answers. We got to bury our father with honors in Arlington Cemetery. Oh!